I have missed quite a few videos lately. Today I'm going to tell you why, why things are getting serious, and what's next for my job situation and my YouTube channel, so stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. First off, can we just say, can we just point out that it is early September, I'm in a sweatshirt, and I'm on my third cup of tea because it's cold here, or at least it's been chilly in my room this morning. This is the coldest I've been since I've been here, and it's been chilly much of the time, but it is a different world up here in Oregon compared to Texas, let me tell you. This is the mug that I made. Well, I didn't make the mug. It's the mug that I painted uh, years ago when I had my previous dachshund, Sebastian. So that's him, and then that's him with this mug. See the paw print on it? So if you turn the mug around, that's his paw print. He got to go in and paint that with me. And speaking of Sebastian, I wanted to show you this that Paul found for me. If you don't know Paul, he's my husband. Um, Paul found this for me at Marshall's when we were shopping for some new apartment stuff the other day. So it's a black and tan dachshund, just like Sebastian. And I used to call Sebastian Bat for short. My bird Vincent actually gave him that nickname. And look, this dog, because it's almost Halloween, or you know, it's not almost Halloween, but it's coming up, it has bat wings. So it is really Sebastian. So had to have it. It's actually a warmer. It has a thing inside that you can take out and put it in the microwave. I won't use it for that. It's just gonna be cute little decor to remind me of my puppy dog. Speaking of puppy dogs, Baron is sitting in the chair behind me. Hello, Baron. And Roxy is across the room in another chair staring at us. I'm wondering why she's not also up here. It's because there's not room for everyone, Roxy. Okay, let's get started with this video. So. Like I said, I have missed quite a few videos lately. I missed my last three videos. I usually post on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Missed all those. And I've also missed several here and there over the past few months. Now, a lot of you who watch my channel regularly, you know that we just moved from Texas to Oregon. And a lot of you probably already know that I've been missing videos because of that, because we've been very busy with that. Now, before we left, when we were still in Houston, I pre-filmed a bunch of stuff. I edited a bunch of stuff. So while we were moving, I had content that I was able to get up. But the move has taken a lot longer, required a lot more effort and time than I had anticipated. And I have chosen mostly to focus on that instead of YouTube. So that is why I've missed some videos here and there. The reason I missed the last three though was not because of that. It was my mother's fault. She just visited us for a week for the first time. We took her all over the place. And of course I prioritized her visit over getting videos out. So that's why you haven't seen anything from me in about a week. But things are getting serious now because we have the apartment almost all the way done. So we still have a little bit of unpacking, a little bit of organizing to do, but it's pretty much all the way there. All the big stuff is done, I think, I hope. So the apartment is going to take less of my time and I am finally ready to commit to getting back to my schedule of Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday videos. It is a little bit more challenging now because of the time difference. I usually post Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Central, which was my old time zone. Now we're in the Pacific time zone and it's two hours earlier, so I have to get videos up at two o'clock instead of four o'clock, or at least I have to try to do that. And I tend to wait till the last minute to edit my videos, so I create my own problems there. But I am committed to being back on that schedule now. I'm hoping to not miss any more videos. I already have quite a few things pre-filmed and a lot of things planned, so that will also help out with staying on track and, and being on schedule there. I'm also about to start planning out videos like I used to do. I know I've shown you guys before. Let me 
pull out one of my notebooks here. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know I'm a big planner and notebook person. So like I have the Louis Vuitton desk agendas and I love these because you can have two notebooks in them. So I have a calendar on one side to plan things time-wise and then I have a notebook on the other side where I plan YouTube videos and I plan you know, bigger things for the channel too. I have individual detailed notes on videos, but then I also have the bigger picture of what I want to do with the channel overall, which I'll talk about a little bit in this video. Anyway, I haven't worked on that in a long time, like a few months. So I'm gonna get back to it now. And I'm excited to do that because I really enjoy it. And I'm excited to work in this new office space that I have. You only see a little bit of it right now and it looks very similar to how it looked in my studio in Houston, but when you see the whole room, it looks really different and I'm really enjoying it. And I'm gonna be sharing that with you at some point soon too, hopefully soon. And many of you know, corresponding with the move, I quit my job as a teacher and I'm not going back into teaching. I have a whole video about that. If you'd like to see it, I'll link it below. So I'm also switching careers along with switching states that we live in. And a few of you have asked, how's the job search going? Here's the answer. It's not. Paul and I have talked at length before we moved, during the move, since the move, and we have decided for a variety of reasons that I am not going to look for a job until sometime next year. I won't go into all of those reasons, but the gist of it is that I have a lot of things to do before I want to start a job and be working full-time 40 hours a week again. And not only do I have things I want to do, but we have things we want to do. We want to do some exploring in this new place we live in. We want to get a sense of it better. We want to be able to travel more. One of the big things that was a hindrance to us about my previous job being a teacher is that sure I had summers to be able to travel, but that's kind of the worst time to travel because it's crowded. That's when everybody's traveling, right? And as photographers, it doesn't always give us the best weather and scenery for nature photography in particular. And one thing we've always wanted to do together is travel in the fall and shoot some of the fall color. So we are going to be doing that this year. That's the plan anyway. Now, we don't know how much the color will change up here because there's a lot of evergreen trees, but at least I'll be available to do what we can do regarding that. Now, I am very fortunate to be able to take this time off. I'm in a financial situation that I've never been in before. In the past, anytime I haven't had a job, I've needed to get a job as fast as possible because I needed the paycheck. But now, since I've been doing YouTube for about six years or so, I think, I'm fortunate to be at a point in YouTube where the income that I earn from it pays my bills. So any job on top of that is kind of gravy. Now, YouTube doesn't pay enough for me to pay my bills and keep buying these bags. That's one of many reasons that I still want to get another job, but it does allow me to take time and it allows me to focus on other things for a while. And it's going to allow me to be very selective about what I do next in terms of a career and in terms of a particular job and in terms of who I'm working for and with. And I've never had the kind of freedom to be able to be that selective. So I, I'm using this word several times, but I feel very, very fortunate to be in that position. I also, on top of the YouTube income, I knew that we were moving, so I've been saving money for a while and I have a cushion there to be able to play with and take whatever time I need or want to focus on other things before I settle into a new career. And I'll also say it's been really weird for me and kind of strange and difficult, challenging, to not be looking for a job because as someone who is used to working pretty much all the time and I enjoy working and as someone who has always had to have a job for financial reasons, it's just such a different situation that I'm in now. I keep going to Paul every few weeks and I'm like, are we sure about this? Are we sure that I don't need to be looking for a job sooner? And then he starts going down the list of reasons why I don't need to and why we want to wait. And he has to kind of reconvince me because it feels so unnatural to me. And I have to keep reminding myself, I am working. First of all, I have YouTube, it's a job. I get an income from YouTube. But I also have been working on moving, on 
you know, all the packing and all the planning that I've done and all the unpacking and all the planning I've done for the new apartment. It has been a lot of work and very time consuming. And it's been very hard to not be focused on finding another job, but I'm working through it. I'm trying to manage that feeling and kind of push it down and remind myself why we're waiting. So yeah, that part has been weird. So in these next few months, here are some of the things that I'm planning on doing. One is finishing getting the apartment in order. One of the reasons that I've missed videos and not made sure that I'm, even though I'm here and I could film, not focusing on YouTube as much, taking a little break from it, is because I know myself. I know that if I start focusing on YouTube full time, I'm gonna let the rest of the things that need to be done in the apartment slip, or at least some of them. I'm somebody who is so used to working, 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 working all the time. As many of you know, when I was teaching, my daily schedule was get up at three or four in the morning, work on YouTube for a couple hours, then go to work and work all day, and then come back home and work on YouTube more. And that included on the weekends. I would still get up that early and work on YouTube through much of the weekend. And things outside of my work sphere tend to suffer for that, like house cleaning or like spending time with people I care about. So now I really want to focus on finishing getting the apartment where I want it to be. We've done most of that, but there's still things to do. I also want to focus on us spending time together and exploring. I wanna focus on taking some online classes. I've been doing that for the last year too for different things, but it was really hard to keep up with that when I was doing teaching and YouTube full time. Now I should have more time to focus on that. And things like project management classes, becoming certified in that. I've done plenty of project management work in my career as a teacher. Teachers do like everything. We're qualified for everything. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. And so many teachers don't realize that because we're so used to doing so much. We don't realize that those skills are transferable to other kinds of jobs, especially when the language is so different in education versus corporate jobs. It's the same kind of work, but it's called different things. And that's one of the things I've been working on is learning, like reflecting on teaching and learning what I can pull from that and can be called something else because it's the same thing, it's just different words. And then taking classes to get certified in some of that because not everybody in corporate realizes what teachers do and how valuable our skills are. So it helps to have like certifications on your resume, I think, I hope, we'll see. Also in these few months, there are a lot of things I've wanted to do for YouTube for years that because of my schedule I've never had time to do so now I will have time to finally focus on those things. Oh I just remembered something yesterday we were at Costco and they had wine and beer advent calendars and that reminded me it is September. September is the month that you want to start looking for advent calendars and buying them up even though it seems like it's so far from Christmas, right? But this is when they start dropping and when the best ones start selling out. The wine calendar they had, it was like 24 wines from around the world. It looks really good. It was $100 for all of that, which is a good price for a wine calendar. And none of them were repeated. Some of the calendars, they'll have only six wines and they repeat them. These were all different, 24 totally different wines. So if you're interested in that, check out your Costco. People always want me to let them know when the advent calendars start to go on sale so there's your warning. Okay, let's talk about some of the things I have planned for my YouTube channel. One I've already talked to you previously in a recent video about my Thursday videos being vlogs in Oregon. So that's still the plan. The biggest one that I wish I had been able to get out by now for chronological reasons, if nothing else, is our epic road trip from Texas to Oregon. It was 11 days long, I vlogged every day. I have not started editing any of it. I haven't had time to do that, but now I should start hopefully having time. It's gonna take days to edit that video. And I have some ideas for it that are a little different that I wanna put in and that's gonna take extra time. It was such an epic trip, I really wanna do it justice. So bear with me on however long that takes. I hope I can get it out next Thursday, but I don't know. I'm not sure what this week has in store for me yet. Things still keep 
coming up that we need to do. But that is upcoming, it will come at some point. Also, my mom just visited, like I said, she was here for about a week, and I vlogged, I think, four days of her trip. So we went to the coast one day, we went up the Columbia River and to some orchards up there, that was really fun. And then we had a winery day and we actually joined our first wine club in Oregon. If anybody's interested, it is called White Rose Estates. They were amazing and their wine club is a really good deal. So I highly recommend them. And my mother, this was her idea, not mine. She wanted to go to Portland Leather Goods. So we went to the outlet I didn't vlog that because I've vlogged at the outlet before. I'll link that video below in case you're interested. But she, but she bought three bags. So I'll have a video showing you her three bags too. And I've also been, I'm in Oregon groups and local area groups for different cities around here on Facebook. So when people post events, I write those down. I put them in my calendar as opportunities to vlog and to explore and learn more about Oregon. So you'll see some things like that. One of those, there have been, I've seen a bunch of Oktoberfests, but it's really weird because all but one of them are in September. What's that about? Somebody clue me in. Is it just, is the weather too bad here in October? We haven't been through a winter here yet, so I don't know what to expect. I do also still have some videos that I pre-filmed when I was back in my Houston studio. They're mostly going to be Portland Leather Goods unboxings. I'm going to be spreading those out so you're not just seeing them back to back. Also, I don't believe I've told you guys this, but a few months ago my father died. Some of you know the story with him. We've been estranged for a long time. And when that happened, I had to get involved in it. It's a whole thing. But I made a video about it, about my experience going through that. And I have... I didn't, I didn't want to post it right away because it was too fresh. I wanted to wait until we got up here. So I think I'll post it at some point, but I still... I'm going back and forth about it a little. I need to watch it and edit it and see how it comes out before I really make a decision on where, when to post it or if I post it. I feel like on one hand it's really personal, but on the other hand I feel like there's information about that experience that could help other people potentially who are in similar situations. So that's really why I would like to post it. I also have videos related to our move. So not only the road trip vlog, but a video about how I transported my nicest bags, my fanciest, most delicate, most expensive bags in the car for 11 days. Also how I transformed this empty room into the new studio that I have and probably a separate video doing an office tour so I can show you details of some of the things in here and tell you some of the stories behind them. I do still have bags left over from my last vlog sale that got brought up here with me, so I'll probably have another vlog sale at some point. I've had a few people contact me interested in a couple bags and I've had to tell them I can't sell to you yet. I'm just not ready to do a vlog sale. It's so time consuming and I don't know even where I'm shipping from yet and how much shipping is going to cost here because I tried sending a, the small thing to somebody recently from UPS and in Houston that would have cost maybe eight dollars to ship it ground and up here they wanted thirty dollars like what so I need to check out the shipping prices and figure out who I need to be shipping with because that that was a ridiculous price for what I was shipping the size and the weight of it I do also have I think it's on third let me check my calendar here yeah Thursday September 28th I have a collaboration video coming up with Ed Braun, Winnie BLV, and David's Closet. I'll link all their channels below. We are thrifting a handbag and then rehabilitating the handbag and then having you guys watch all four videos and vote on who got the best deal or did the best job or whatever. I'm not sure what we're doing quite yet, but that's fun. I've purchased the bag, but I don't have it yet. And I purchased one that I think will be a bit challenging, but also a really nice looking bag. So. Looking forward to that. Other things I want to focus on, a new intro instead of rambling on for like 15 minutes, <laughs> like my intro is now, shortening that. I've talked to you guys about that before, but I haven't had time to sit down and work on it yet. I'm also thinking I would like to do some kind of animated intro, like there's the speaking intro and then there's the visual intro, and I want to do a different visual one. I've wanted to do that for years and I've never had time to sit down and figure out how to do it myself. I could hire someone else, but I would rather learn a new skill and be able to do more things with that. 
um, incorporate different animation throughout the video or even potentially in a job outside of YouTube. I also want to add more B-roll. That's when you see me talking about something, but then, th no wait, it's when you hear me talking, but then the video cuts away to show something else. That's the B-roll. I also want to do more on Instagram. I'm almost never posting there. I did post a picture the other day of my mom with one of her new bags from Portland Leather Goods, so if you're interested in seeing that, go check it out. My Instagram name is Autumn Beckman, all one word. I'll have that linked below too. The thing with Instagram is I have to make a real effort to do it. I have a lot more photogenic places to shoot up here, so I feel like I have more content available to me than I did in Houston, especially since the weather's good enough that we'll be able to be out more. It's just a matter of actually doing it. And it's also a matter of YouTube is a business for me and I have not looked into Instagram enough to know how to make money from that. And with a full schedule, especially when I'm back working like a corporate job, I don't have time to do things that aren't earning money for me. So we'll see how that one goes. And then I also would like to expand the content some, still keeping in the luxury realm, but not just focused on handbags, focused on some other things like some of the home decor and like one of my videos on my studio here will be how I redecorated the entire room and bought all new furniture and did all this for under, I haven't counted it all yet, but I think under two or three thousand dollars. And I think it looks great. And my closets too, I'll have a video on how I did my closet design and organization. And that whole thing, people spend thousands on closets and I spent like three hundred dollars. So all that to say, I'm back baby. And I'm serious about getting videos out on a regular schedule again, so you'll start seeing my videos. Please make sure if you want to see them that you have the little bell notification and that you're subscribed and all that. Yeah, that's what's going on. That's the plan. We'll see how it works out. I'm usually pretty good at sticking to my plans and doing what I say I'm gonna do. But you let me know in the comment section if there's anything you'd like to see that I haven't mentioned or if there's anything in particular that you're looking forward to. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.